Alright, welcome back. We'll see if that works now. That should be working, I think. Yep, there we go. Sprint timer is up. Sorry about that. Don't know why it didn't load properly. Wouldn't even find the damn thing. It's so weird. Okay, now. Let's settle down to work, shall we? Is there a Premier League badge? Like, that says Premier League? Because I should complain. Because <laughs> I don't have it. No, it, it ended. I had to restart. Hi, Stretch. Good to see you. I had a daily feature the other day, too, so someone is noticing. That's cool, Bob. Got up the game. <laughs> trolls are fun. I, I, I like trash and trolls. They're good. I am sure that Stretch is definitely doing the one-shot challenge for Adventure April. Stretch might come and play in my game, too, and I might come and play in his, so this might be cool. I don't know if that was part of the plan, but we were, we were sort of talking about it at one point, so... Oh, it's on the About section in your profile? Okay, I'm going to have a look then. Because I won the uh, Law Challenge there. Right? Or the... I won a category in Summer Camp that was sponsored... I won two categories, actually, in Summer Camp that were sponsored by Inner Sanctum people. And I won um, Best Law in world ember recently so so this is the about section well i guess that doesn't count as a oh haha -ha, there we go i am the premier league so this is how you know for those of you who were looking for how can you tell who's in the premier league apparently it's there so awesome Okay. Of course, it's like way down here underneath my tags and shit, but that's fine. Cool. Okay. I just wanted to know where it was. I'm pretty proud of that. So that was hard. It was hard work. So, all right. I'm going to get to my article here and get some writing done, I think. It is a really cool badge. It, it, they made it look nice. It's really cool. Okay, this is what my article looks like so far. What I need to do is find shit to put in here. I know, a quote. I have quotes. Quotes are always good. if you can else. If I look lopsided today, guys, it's because I have managed to pull a hamstring and I have, I'm currently icing it, so I'm sitting on an ice pack right? <laughs> it also means that I have, because it's like right where, you know, my leg connects to my ass, basically, right? And I'm also sitting on a book to try to make it more balanced, but it's not. I'm leaning this way, so. <laughs> Posture checks may be really helpful today, I'm just saying. that I think it was part 
two? No, part three. Yeah. I really gotta make better notes for myself. I did something weird here. What did I do? I remember now why chapter 16 was open. That's where it was with the timeline. Okay. See if that's enough to fill the space. Not quite. Okay. I could put a picture in there. What would I use for picture? if that works. <clears throat> I mean, I don't think it has the same dramatic effect, though. Oh, 
I know, I know. Okay. I know what to do. I see my buttons are back here. I don't know when they reappeared. That's the Sprint Gang. How'd you do? And what are you working on today? For the follow, Super Writer and Dinging. I, I don't really know why. So we'll play your dingy thing here. Oh! 
Oh, hey, and you gifted a sub. Well, that's nice. Wow, awesome, gang. Or did it screw up somehow? Yes. Well, thank you so much. That's great. <clears throat> Big leg spikes. That's because Super Writer Andy followed and then he gifted a sub to the community. Well, thank you so much. Much appreciated. That's great. Yeah, big leg spikes. I don't know what's going on. I have shut down everything that I might do. Oh, and DM Stretch has given out 10 bits. Thank you very much. Awesome. <laughs> Saying hi, I gotta go in a couple minutes. That sucks. Oh, and Super Raider Andy's giving out more subs. Holy cow. Well, hello, Super Raider Andy. You're amazing. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Welcome to the channel and, and thanks for all the support and encouragement. I really appreciate it. That is so cool. Emily is changing her CSS again. <laughs> you have not been happy about that, eh? Lap in 33 words. The story of the Snatchers, says James. Um, yes. Lapin, uh, how many words did I do here? This section. Let's find out. You know, I can probably shut this down now. That will help. Oh, more dingy things? happening here? <laughs> You're amazing! Spreading the creator love. Well, thank you, Andy. That is awesome. Oh my god. Well, way to sub bomb. Just come in and give people a bunch of subs and, you know, just after you follow the channel. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Right on. Well, if you've got a channel, definitely put the link in the in the stream because I would definitely love to check it out. I like supporting other writers too, so that is really cool. Wow. And other creators. Yeah, it's been a borky stream. I don't know what's going on. It, it, every time an event happens at the moment, I get a bunch of lag, and I don't really know what the heck is going on with that. I have shut down everything I can possibly shut down. I know I've got a million tabs open, but it's no more than I typically have. Okay, 102 words, how slapping is what I'm going to say there, James. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. No, it's, it's sorry about that, guys. I, you know, I'm working on it. I shut down everything else I knew of in the background. Maybe I'll just like control alt delete and shut everything down. Maybe there's another user logged in and I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Bob says, I've been focusing on my world homepage and playing with variables. Variables are fun, eh? Yeah. Emily is, of course, not making progress writing her short story. Okay, Emily, right? You've been doing this for several days now. The story ain't gonna write itself. You need to stop fucking with your CSS. It's beautiful. Okay. Leave it alone and go write. At least do me this favor. Leave it alone and write during this stream, right? Because you obviously want us to encourage you to go do it. <laughs> they had an unbanned request. They actually had an unbanned request. That is hilarious, Stretch. Thank you for reporting them. That's excellent. No, they came in my stream, and the first thing they said was if it was fuzzy, somebody or other. That's just gotta go back to work, by the way. Oh, never mind. I gotta get back to work just a sec, and then I'll tell you about it in the next sprint, because, oh my god. I'm like, I cannot believe they had the audacity. Yeah, come into my stream. Right? The first thing he says is, nobody knows who you are, dear. 
And I went, you know, it's my community stream where I'm telling people what's going on, right? And I says, well, nobody knows who you are either, so whatever. And then the second thing she, he says is, aren't you a little old for Twitch, dear? <laughs> and I said, well, Snookums, I think Twitch is for everybody and fuck you and bye. <laughs> Sadness, I tell you, some people. I think I'm going to start linking ships through it here.
Not bad, not bad. Yeah, clearly that's not a good symbol to use there. I'll try the crest. Probably too big though. No, that worked out. Okay. All right, we're just about ready to rock and roll with this then. Seven. Uh, I think there's twelve, so actually I count the other way, so five. I think it is. Okay. Linear navigation, previous article, midshipman. And next article will be lieutenant.
always mix up which one that is. That's the sprint, gang. How'd you all do? I think I did pretty well. I think I'm actually finished this article now. <clears throat> I'll double check, and if so, I'll publish. Leg, if it's lagging, gang. Okay. Okay, James asked, question. Apart from Hansel and Gretel, where the boy is fattened up, and in The Boy Who Cried Wolf, where the wolf ate sheep, is there any other, are there any other fairy tales where the male protagonist has other nasty things done to him? Yeah, that's why he's Super Writer Andy. That's right. That's pretty awesome. Twitch is having a day. Okay. See you later there, Stretch. Emily said CSS is obsessive when I'm tired and I don't just I don't think and I lost track of time. I stream to get work done, says Super Raider Andy. Yep, that makes sense to me. Fleece Comrade says, What the fuck? What's wrong with any person wanting to share what they do on a streaming platform? There's no age limit for discussion and collaboration. Thank you. I agree with you. Um, how about it's just not fair if you want to think that, right? They didn't have Twitch when I was 19. They have Twitch now. I like Twitch. <laughs> Sorry, I repeated the question. No, it's fine, James. I, you, you know, everything was like leggy and stuff, and you didn't know whether or not I made it. You know, whether I saw it. Co-writers, that's cool. Yeah. Um, Dad says we always derail Sable's plan stream work. Uh, you know, I like working with other people. This is one of the reasons why I do this. It's good for accountability because then, you know, I can't sit here and look at Twitter, right? I have to get shit done because if I'm not doing shit, you can tell I'm not doing shit, right? So also because, you know, there's a lot of people who are just starting out, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm I mean, he's right, this fuzzy guy. I'm not anybody important yet, right? But I'm on the verge of it, right? I've at least been published on professional venues, right? And, you know, people are starting to know who I am. And if I can help other people get started, that's awesome, you know? Because, you know, there there used to be so many few fewer resources there. And now there's a, a community around this. And I remember being the lone weirdo, right? Who wrote among my friends. So, you know... 
It's good to know you're not a lone weirdo. I'm thinking about your question, James. I'm, I'm not ignoring it. I'm considering it because I, you know, I mean, yes, I'm sure, right? Um, the thing about fairy tales is people get punished for bad behavior and rewarded for desirable behavior, right? And it also depends on whether or not you consider things like the Arabian Nights to be fairy tales. Because in a way they are. They're just the same kind of stories, right? So... Uh, yeah, Lapin, 75 words, the story of the Snatchers. Good, I guess, says Daz, only 78 words, but it's all new stuff. That's great. That's great, guys. That's good work. Well, that was ugly. Very long leg. Yeah. Yay, Emily's gone back to her short story. Woot! Rereading what I wrote this morning to remember I have to go now. Yeah, yeah, that's, you gotta do that. That makes sense. Daz did a doggy bio. Fleece Comrade got 126 words for this word sprint. It's writing a personal introduction on a World Anvil chapter I got into yesterday. Bonus, man, that's great. Uh, assuming that your uh, pronouns are he, um, he, him, which I don't know for sure. Um, I would appreciate guidance as to pronouns, gang, if you, you know, want to let me know. In Discord, Luther mentioned Rapup Rapunzel. Yeah. If you don't know, the prince got blinded in it. Yeah, he, him, thanks. Okay, perfect. Got it. Oh. A lot of bad things happen to women, but it's harder to find bad things that happen to men, isn't it? Um... When it's the protagonist, anyway, right? Because the protagonist is usually awarded, uh, rewarded for being nice. So I don't know. That has turned out to be a harder question than it should be. I'm sorry, James. I got nothing. If I think of anything, I will let you know. I gotta move that, okay, okay. Okay, so we'll move this to there. No. We'll move this.
All right, I think this is ready for the world.
Okay. And that's the sprint. All right. article there. Send one soon. Stuff that's bad that happened to the women. In fairy tales. Uh, Daz says, well, crap, all those words I wrote need to die. <laughs> I hate that. She says, you know, a lot of the antics for Pepe and Juju I get from my dog. Doesn't take much to exaggerate them enough to show sentience. Fleece Comrade says, 165 this time for a total of 291. Good job. Excellent. That's great. The lag roll in the chat. Yeah, I don't I don't know what appears to be the damn problem. Right? Like I could control alt delete and find out, but then the stream really will buffer, so we're not going to do that. I don't know. It doesn't appear like there's a lot of stuff running in the background. I don't get it. Since the most recent Windows update, this has been a real pain in my ass, and I don't really know what the deal is. I've got a direct landline, 
I have lots of RAM. I don't understand. It might be time to reformat this computer, that's all I can think of. Which means setting this whole freaking thing up again, which I really don't want to do. Okay. James says, how slap in 35 words, the story of the Snatchers. Excellent. Right. Emily says, I think I wrote about 180 words, but I didn't check how many I had at the start of the sprint. Fair enough. Um, Emily says, I have 902 in the short story since this morning. Excellent. Yeah, I know. It's every time I change the chat. I know. I, I don't... It For some reason, when I haven't been looking at the Twitch studio window for a while, when I fire it back up after I've been looking at Chrome, it creates lag. I don't know why. There's no good reason for it that I can think of. It must have something to do with what's running on my computer, but I've shut off all the excess crap. You know, I, I, I just, I don't understand. Right? And it's been getting more frequent. Um, every time I do a stream, I reboot the computer. I even turned it right off this time. Right? I try to log out the other users. And that's why Stream Elements is so good. Your overlay setups are in the cloud, says Bob. Yeah, but then the problem is, I gotta reset the audio every time I do the damn stream. So, if one pain in the ass or another pain in the ass, right? Yeah. James says, Sable, sorry if that annoyed you when I mentioned that I will be needing the women's one soon. I am finding it hard as Twitch is working. Yeah, that's on my end. I don't really know what the deal is. Um, it's been doing it for the past month. But, yeah. No, it's fine. You didn't annoy me. I'm just thinking about it. I, Okay, women, it's much easier, right? Um, the little match girl... Uh, died in the cold. The uh, um, girl with the red shoes danced herself to death. Um, Sleeping Beauty was sent into a coma and then sexually assaulted by the prince she married. I don't know. Um, Cinderella and her Russian equivalent Vasilisa were basically uh, worked into housework death and then, you know, uh, but they managed to get out because they were good, you know, um, mostly because they were obedient and didn't argue. I don't know if I'm a fan. Um, let's see. Yeah. You, do, you might have a point about the in the cloud, though, Bob. I'll give you that. Uh, Fleece Comrade says, My fastest word sprint was 250 words per 15 minutes. I'm looking through that story now, and this is literally my worst short story. Yeah, f sprinting is good when you want to get stuff, you know, like, fast. Right? It's good for NaNoWriMo when you have a word count that you have to do, like, in a short time. I find that I prefer to use these as work periods, and I don't really sprint. I don't worry about, you know, like when it when it's not a competition like nano, I don't worry about how many words I got. It's it's a, a good way to measure um, accountability, but other than that. Okay guys, I'm gonna switch to my break screen because I need to take a bio. As always, yeah, that's why Greg calls them marches. Yeah, focused work periods, whatever. Exactly. Um, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to take a bio. I'm going to put up my break timer. For those of you who are new to the stream, feel free to use it as a sprint because I've got it as a 15 minute timer. I will not interrupt it. When I get back, I'll just keep working in the background. And I'll also do the five minute chat break with the other screen active just so that I don't interrupt the rhythm because otherwise it resets the timer. Right? Um, and yeah, feel free to keep working. I will be too. Yeah, legit, their kit. Kit says drafting and editing the final draft can have equal time if sprinted or not, depending on how much work you need to do. 100%. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I'll be right back in a minute, gang.
I am back and I'm working in the background.
And that is the spring. How'd you guys do? I did pretty well. Okay, see you later, Bob. Thanks for joining me. Good night, James. Weapon for life. Sleep well. Thanks for joining me. Daz says, yes, this is a bit of a tattletale regarding my dog, this scene I am writing. Oh, awesome. 106 words, Emily. Good work. I finished up the uh, Ensign article. I published it. I posted my recent post to Patreon, and I started editing on To Know Your Enemy, which is book two. So, Daz says, uh, huge wet tongues attacking his face woke, woke Fox. Instead of getting up, he rolled over and buried his head under his pillow. Woof! One dark bark low. Rrr, the other dog replied. <laughs> Suddenly, the blankets were pulled off Fox, and something grabbed the collar of his bed shirt, dragging him off his bed. <laughs> he flopped down, backside first, onto the floor that felt softer than normal. Cracking open his eyes, Fox realized he was laying on his blankets, while both of his very large dogs stood looking down at him with panting smiles and wagging tails. Time to get up, Dad! <laughs> That's hilarious. I love it. Your dog did that to you, Daz? That's funny. Emily did 96 words. Excellent. Excellent. Good work, guys. Emily has finished the introduction scene and is now writing the transition. I hate transition. I hate transition, too. Transition is the mushy middle. It's always harder, I find. You know, you know where you are. You know where you're going. Where do you go from there? Yeah. You know what I should probably do here, guys? I should go back to monitoring the stream on my phone. I'm gonna do that. I have my phone here. I will fire it up. I'll put on Twitch. We will do it through the phone with the, just the chat. And then that way, I will not have to uh, constantly lag out the chat. Should have thought of this before. Don't know why I didn't. Okay, so now I've got the chat active on my phone. That should be a little less complicated. <laughs> yes, he did, just not soft landing on blankets. Luckily, I've got carpeting. That is funny as hell. Please, comrade said, splurted 217 more words about my world to this chapter. Good work. I wonder if I can prop that up like that because, yeah, there we go. Now I can see what's going on. And like I said, the I've still got the break timer up here because that way I don't uh, reset the timer. We're almost at 5 o'clock. we got one more hour. Anybody know who's going to be on at 6 that we can raid? I like to raid writing streams today. I think coffee's on at that time, isn't she? Or isn't they? Aren't they? I'm going to look at the calendar here. No, I'm not. I'm not going to risk it until after. <laughs> Let the things flip, flip over first. Hey, it tells me we're at 451 followers. Nice. Only 50 more go to five to 500. And then we've got a, uh, you know, then we're have another giveaway, guys, because that's great. 500 is cool. Damn, I'm on in half an hour, says Brian. Hi, Brian. Good to see you. A little late. That's okay. And Eli should be up, yep. Yeah. And also Lyria and Davina on the calendar. Oh, Lyria is up. I don't think I've ever raided Lyria. We might have to do that. Also, Davina is awesome, so I don't know. 
Jeez, I'm going to have to put up a poll at this rate to see who we raid. So many good people. Brian's awesome. He does awesome writing streams. You know, he's lots of fun. Also, he's one of my co-conspirators for the Writer's Conduit. He's the guy who came up with the idea. Oh, Eli. Oh, you don't see Eli, but you see Kahuna and Kinder. And I have only gamers on, says Daz. Okay, we're going to put up a poll at the time. we still got an hour, gang. It's okay. Right, we're not in a rush. I just wanted to get an idea. Can anybody... Oh, no, James went to bed. Okay. Kahuna is supposed to be finished by the time we're done. Yeah. Raven just started. I recommend him. He's good. He does some... Yeah, you're right, Brian. Normally I do raid in about three minutes, but I'm going an extra hour today because today was State of the Multiverse. So I started the writing stream late. So I actually wanted the three hours. Um, yeah, oh, but Raven's doing a live reading of Dracula right now, making voices. Which is also cool, but not what we're here for, right? So... Um, I prefer it to keep to writing streams specifically, if I can, on today of all days. Everyone should check the VOD later. I'll do that in the morning. Yeah. Oh, for Kahuna. Kahuna's doing Dracula. Oh, yeah. He asked if people wanted, to do, wanted him to do live readings. Had to refresh my phone. It skipped there for a minute for no good reason. But it's okay, and now I'm not going to be going back to the chat window, on, or the um, Twitch studio, and that's the growl, the dragon of productivity demands sacrifice. Yeah, I'm not going back to the Twitch studio window now until it's time for me to, like... <laughs> must be It must be Twitch today. I'm not going to take it personally. You know what? Let's just flip over to the sprint screen and get started here. Hopefully it's not lagging all the shit. Nope. All right. And we're back to work. changed how my orcish language works, so I have to change the spelling of Corin. Okay, I did change it in this one. Good. Twitch was really bad for a big streamer on a special event stream today. 1k viewers. I think they just need more servers. I don't think they've quite caught up with the use of Twitch that has expanded in the pandemic.
I just had to share one of the joys of having a big dog, says Daz. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> my dog wasn't quite big enough to do that. He was, however, big enough to crush the life out of my legs. <laughs> doing weird things again <laughs> Legit, please. I used to sleep with all three of my St. Bernards on top of me. Never needed a blanket. Legit. <laughs> yeah, one dog was enough. I can't imagine three St. Bernards. Good God. <laughs> I used to be really against animals in bed with me. Yeah, so was I. That didn't last. Oh, something got flagged. Ah, shit. Okay, just a second. I have to find how to do this on my phone now. I don't know how to do this on my phone! I'm sorry, can you figure out how to rephrase there, Brian? I can't figure out how to do this on my phone right now. Didn't even give it to me. So I don't even know what you said. It's not in my activity feed or anything.
Ugh, excuse me. Animal alarm clocks. Yep. <laughs> and that's the sprint. How'd everybody do? I have edited two, well, one and a half scenes. All right, Brian, setting up for a stream. Bye, y'all. Um, maybe we'll see you in a few. Thanks for joining me, Brian. Animal alarm clocks are pretty great.
Emily says, I'm at 1,670 words in this short story. Forgot where I was before the start of the sprint. 970, so that is 700 words. Well done. Good work. You must be in a zone. That's great. I got distracted opening a letter since it's after midnight here. Yeah, any words are good words, right? Daz got 80 words. Excellent. Excellent, guys. Good work. I'm really happy to see everybody, you know, making progress and doing so well. It's really cool. Do you guys want me to run actual word sprints again during Camp Nano? I could do that. Right? Or do you guys prefer this more relaxed kind of pace? Delian says, I'm finally getting around to writing about the biggest and one of the most important countries in my world. Only took me like three years to get to that stub. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. There's so many things. I'm like, oh, I should do an article on the ship's druid, one on the Chirurgeon, and I still haven't done the article on the Avalonian Empire, which, you know, is kind of important. Just, you know, a titch. Yeah. <laughs> It'll get there. It'll get there. I have so many core articles missing. Yeah, exactly. Me too. It's 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 bad. I still haven't even finished all my summer camp articles. What are you talking about? Delian says, are you doing a deep cleanup? Yes. Emily says, I'll need sprints during Camp Nano to force me to do anything. Okay, you got it, hon. We can do that. We will do actual sprints. Um, I will me start measuring my words. Right? Um, I'm doing the editing for my uh, progress. I'm trying to get this straightened out because if I can get this one straightened out, then I can do some heavy editing on Brothers in Arms for my uh, my project in Nano. And, you know, it needs some rewriting and shit. So that'll be good. Actual sprints. Yay, says Eli. I'm going to be editing by time. Yeah, hey, I'll totally uh i'll totally do that gang we can we can definitely do that whatever you need to support inspiration but keep in mind that not all streams will be associated with that because i'll also be working on the one shot adventure for adventure april during that time i think what i might do is i will let's see i'll probably make a point of attending more of aaron's writing streams and I will do um, plot making during Sable's World Forge. And I will do, um, but either way, I'll do writing sprints during Diane Writes and um, uh, Diane Actually Writes. And I think I might suspend showcases for the month. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, Eli's going to be editing by time. Emily says, I'll be doing rewriting, so I should be more efficient than for a first draft. Yep. Last time I did a rewrite, I did 120k in a month. Nice! Daz says, ooh, maybe special reporting thing with channel points, like words written, lines edited. That's cool. Three hours of editing every day, plus 500 words revision on book three. Nice. Nice. Good work, Eli. Huh. Yeah, the only problem is I'm not sure how to handle that when some people are keeping track of time spent editing. What I could do is I could run a, a, a challenge, basically. I could give a prize to the person who did the most. That's the get back to work growl from the Dragon of Productivity. Uh, Fleece Comrade says, still here, another 200-ish words, but dang, I just told a dozen people more about my story than I ever thought I would. Awesome. That's awesome. It's important to get out there and start telling people about your story, right? If you're not enthusiastic about it, nobody else is going to be. Right? You're your own best salesperson, honestly. Okay, and good work on that. What is your story? It's all my top secret stuff, though. <laughs> um, I just went ahead 
and disabled the meta for my worlds because the reason why I've been hesitating over filling it out is because I want to control the access to information. A bunch of the stuff that's in there might be a, a bit of a surprise for people. I already have introductory and inspiration articles, right? I don't know if I want to share all that much information about it. Read it and find out, you know? Excuse me. All right. I was very picky about what I put in my meta as well. Yeah, I just disabled the whole thing. I'll think about it later. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a cool idea as a tool to help you focus what you're trying to do. And, you know, that's neat, but I didn't feel I needed it for the public. Yeah, Emily says, I haven't bothered with the meta at all. Yeah, some people are really going to benefit from it, and other things it's just not going to be useful. Like everything else in World Anvil, right? Which is why it's cool that it's so versatile. Alright. I'm updating my language stuff in the book. That's not what I was working on. I was working on chapter 32. I'll go back to that. I can close down chapter 19 because I don't need that. Uh, says I need to redo my meta but in a generic way. Eli says I haven't done almost anything with metas. Emily says what I want to do is clear. The world building is just to help for the novels. Exactly. I, same boat here, right? Okay, I'll catch up on the rest of the chat after the break. Or in the break. That's the right attitude to have about edits, Eli.
Oh, I hear dingy things. Oh, hey, Esong. Thank you for renewing the subscription. Eight months. Yay. Thank you. Aw. So glad I found this community. Thanks for being you, Diane. She says, well, thank you. Esong, I really appreciate it. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. We're doing a sprint. I'm trying not to be too distracted by chat. <laughs> I am editing today again. Oh, that sucks, Esong. I don't want to get in the way of progress. I appreciate that, but it's okay. Um, I w I'm tired. I was up until 1.30 trying to prep stuff for my classroom that didn't end up working out. But life goes on. Spring break is next week, and it's light at the end of the tunnel. Well, that's true. Spring break will not be long. Yeah. I'm sorry it didn't work out. That sucks. <laughs> it comes to be that the soothing light at the end of your tunnel is just a freight train coming your way. Metallica, for those who don't know. No, pro I hope not. <laughs> Probably not. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it, I'm sure you'll appreciate the break. Aw. Thanks, Esong. My voice is still a little rough though. I don't want to do too much singing. But I had a cold. I'm over it now, but I've still got a bit of a cough. I was having so many problems with Twitch today, switching between the Twitch Studio view and the Chrome view that I gave up and decided to use my phone to check the chat. So, if you're wondering why I'm looking in a different direction, you know why. This seems to be working out for me. I probably won't open up the Twitch Studio screen again until it's time to change the screen and do the raid. <laughs> I, I'm actually, I'm getting stuff done. I'm currently in a space where the editing is like brainless, so. Ah, wrong one. It's the other way. Gotta go find that. And replace it with that. Oh, and I know another one I can do here. The most common word I use with uh, orcish. Oh, how do you open that find replace thing? I will be happy to show you one second here. Alright, so here we are. Close that down for a minute. Okay, you go to edit in the top corner there, and then it's the bottom one on that menu, find replace. There you go.
Okay, good. I got that one. Then we'll do... Nah, we'll do like this. We'll do the core. Because for some reason my original manuscript did curly quotes and this doesn't do curly quotes. That's been a bit of a pain in the edit because it marks the curly quote as another kind of thing. Okay. Okay, see you later, Esong. I'll be on t for another half an hour. Thank you very much for supporting the stream and all the encouragement, and it's good to see you. My pleasure, Fleece. Happy to help. Oh god, I hear you there, Daz. I'm... Brothers in Arms is going to be like that. Okay. And that's the sprint. And how'd you all do? All right, let's go back in the chat here. Okay, so Emily hasn't uh, done anything with the meta. Fleece has been very picky about what uh, they've put in the meta. Daz uh, needs to redo her meta, but in a general way, or generic way. Eli has done almost nothing with meta. So meta is perhaps better for, you know, the RPG builders than the authors, I would say, right? Or at least if you're going to do meta for authors, you'd like to keep it private. I finally found the button to do that, by the way. Took me till today, days old, to figure that out. Um, <laughs> Daz based her original meta on um, during, based it on the original meta she did during Cal, right? Um, Circle of World Builders conference. Uh, Eli said, "I might do a read of some of Guardian on my stream before it comes out after the final draft. You should, totally should do that. That would be cool." I have enjoyed the reading of Reaper very much. Daz says he needed to rewrite anyways, so that's probably for the best. Eli dances around with ants in their pants because they get their first edit back tomorrow. And I'm like, that's the right attitude about edits. 
<laughs> I'm excited and going to be useless until I can look it over. Right? And then they say, I'll be groaning over the rest of it, or over it the rest of the time. Enjoy it while I'm excited. Yeah, I hear you there. That's cool. And then E-Song showed up, which was awesome. And then we discussed the find replace thing. Daz is editing her nano. And I know she's got this too. I'm sure she'll be great. Um, Isong had to leave for dinner. Daz says, it's slow. I made changes that are completely changing things like a domino effect. Your first draft is often like that when you do the second edit through. And that's basically where I am with Brothers in Arms as opposed to To Know Your Enemy. And ick you know i am i'm definitely not looking forward to it there's already so many changes i'm gonna have to make i've got to write a completely new subplot right um one of the critiques about the book is that i completely lose yathar and this is where i lose him is here right because he and shandar are separated now for quite a long time right but you know i was like well he's doing stuff but it's not that important <clears throat> so I didn't get into it, but I actually have to come up with things that he's doing that are important and describe it in more detail because otherwise it loses emotional impact and besides the point, some of the stuff he finds out is important. It just takes a while for him to find it out. So it's going to be a nightmare. Uh, Daz says, you know, the meta is just fine if... Uh, if you plan it out as a public intro into your world. Yeah, I already did an article that it was an introduction, though, so I wasn't in a big hurry. Ah, Emily did 33 words in the sprint, got distracted. Well, it is getting late. It's getting late even for me. This is not normally a writing time for me. I just really wanted my three hours. I'm glad I took it, right? Because I'm actually getting the stuff done that I wanted to get done, and that's good. Fleece Comrade says, my beta basically is to say that my lack of informational articles on World Anvil is intentional. <laughs> I I didn't uh, new words, Amelie. Uh, I did no words, Amelie. I was screenshotting what I was writing for easy reference later. Yeah, and it's after midnight in Scotland. Yeah, I know. I know it is. I'm, I appreciate you guys are still with me, and I hope you're enjoying the stream. You can always do the... VOD after two, if that's something that interests you. I sometimes do that when I miss Greg's stream, like I'll sometimes watch his VOD. I'm I'm just not often up at four o'clock in the morning, right? Sometimes I am, but not often, and he does good streams and it's fun, so sometimes I do that. Direct is better. <laughs> Direct is better. Direct is better. I won't argue with that. It, it lacks some of the immediacy and the interaction without it. Yeah, it, it does, it's true. And I'm on weekend anyway, says Emily. Okay. Okay, that's fair enough. Alright, so there's the growl of the Dragon of Productivity. We have one more sprint to do, and then we'll have another five minutes, and that'll be the end of the stream. So maybe start keeping an eye out for who we should raid, and maybe I'll make a poll. Alright. Is Aaron feeling well enough to stream later? Yes, he's supposed to be on tonight, isn't he? Am I supposed to be... No, no, that was Tuesday I was supposed to do that and I didn't do it. Because I forgot that I was supposed to do it. <laughs> if he does, I should still bother waking up not too late to catch him. Uh, yeah, he looks fine today. And... Remind me... Or, you know, uh, you know, poke me in the Discord and remind me that we're supposed to be on. Because sometimes we forget at that hour. Holy crap, what the hell happened there? Ding, ding, ding. 
Well, thanks for the follow, Fleece. Follow support the stream too. And I really appreciate them. And I get having zero dollars. It's fine. Right? Um, and you're going to head out now. So I wish you well. And I'll see you again soon. I'll be back on Sunday, 1 p.m. Pacific, uh, 8 p.m ish gmt if the time change hasn't happened yet and i i do a world building stream called sables world forge and i may be back on saturday in the afternoon as well which would be an hour later so and then otherwise i'm doing this every wednesday at 1 p.m pacific that's an hour before i started today er, today right 1 p.m pacific usually 9 p.m gmt and this one usually starts at 2 p.m. Pacific or 10 p.m. GMT. Clock change on Sunday. Okay, that helps. So, aha. So, not too bad then. If the clock change is on Sunday, then it will be... Um, the Sunday stream starts at 9 p.m. GMT. 1 p.m. Pacific. See you later. Thanks for joining us. A pleasure to meet you. Word I didn't put in there. change that around. That would make more sense. Because why would you use Okay. And then we'll do that'll have to be changed for that one too. Awesome, I'll check in on Sunday, says Fleece. If it's on World Anvil Discord, I'll see you when it posts. Yeah, it will be. I always do. Especially that stream, because it's specifically about World Anvil. Alright. Save that word. And then change this to Great Grandmother.
that's more accurate like that. And then we'll do father again.
And that's a sprint. And how'd everyone do on this last sprint? Oh. Oh. Okay. Huh. And stretches back. Just done a stream on someone else's channel creating a character for Through the Breach. Cool. Emily says, it's after midnight here, but I need 450 words to beat the monster before going to bed. Awesome. A tad late here as well, says Delian. Bit of an understatement. What time is it there, by the way? I'm curious. 5.30 p.m. for Fleece when he left. Ah, he's in my time zone. Cool. Yeah. Okay, Emily asked, is Aaron feeling good enough to stream later? If he does, I should still bother waking up not too late to catch him. I think so. I'm. He seemed fine today. The only reason why he wasn't doing State of the Multiverse with me is because he was going to do errands. He's, you know, had... My mom asked him to help with errands today. And we didn't realize that we double booked, right? So we thought that we were doing things at one o'clock for some reason. So then he would have been done by two and able to take my mom out. But I got my time screwed up because time zones. So yeah. I forgot to look at word count, says Das. I am shutting down as supper is almost done. Ooh, Salisbury steak and it's not my turn to cook. I'm jealous. I'm coming over. You're going to feed me. No. <laughs> Emily says, I'm at 1,355 words in my short story. I had a problem with the duplicate 500 words earlier. Oh, I see. That would explain what the hell happened there. I was like, what happened? You were on fire. What are you talking about? But, well, okay. That's fair. But 1,355 words? And you started from zero this morning? Good work. Good work. That's excellent. That is brilliant. All right, who do we want to raid, gang? Eli hasn't de hasn't decided what they're doing for dinner yet. Eh, fair enough. I don't know what's for dinner either. I'm hoping that the boys decided to cook, but I don't have high hopes. Um... Jamie has been cooking a lot. Oh, is Davina up? Okay. Yep, we can totally raid Davina. There's so many good people right now, is the thing, right? So, I didn't have to decide since it's not my turn. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to try a risky thing here with the way I've been having trouble with the chat today. I am going to try... Oh, I know what I can do. Okay, I'm going to try shutting down my twit, my uh, Chrome. I'm going to give it a minute. So you're going to see nothing but a blank screen here for a second. Yep. Good. And now hopefully that should not interfere... We'll go to the downtime screen. So the legs. Yeah, I, I think. Let's see who else is up. Hold for that. Okay. I wonder if it's my camera. Okay, so we have Raven, we have, and we have Davina. Long feelings. All their stuff in the chat. If the thing ever comes back, thing that's borky, yeah. Uh, 
I wonder if Twitch is multi-copying by your camera feed. What do you mean by that there, Des? Okay, there we go. We have life. My Twitch up and died on me, but I'm back. No, it's probably me. I tried shutting down my uh, Chrome to see whether it would be a smoother transition to this, and it wasn't. Oh, okay. I had to reopen the stream to see the video again. Daz says, I saw a streamer realize that Twitch was streaming the camera feed in more than one place. Had to manually go in and fix. How do you do that? I don't know how it... That's so weird. I'll, I'll check that out and see if I can figure that out. Thanks for the suggestion, Daz. It's helpful. Okay, so... Brian was here. Brian's my co-conspirator in uh, The Conduit. If you want to do an awesome writing stream, he does a really good one. Right? There's also uh, Raven Wrights. I enjoy his streams. He's uh, He does stuff on the craft of writing quite a bit, and I thought that's useful and really interesting. Kindar's on, but he's playing a game, so I'm not going to send you to him right now. And in the meantime, we're going to raid Davina. All right. So thank you very much for joining me today. I'm sorry for all the Twitch borking. I will try to figure out what the fuck is going on with this stupid thing. And in the meantime, Aaron will be back tonight at midnight Pacific time. That's 7 a.m. GMT this week with Right With Aaron. And then we will be back tomorrow, 1 p.m. Pacific, uh, 8 p.m. GMT for the Ask an Old GM slot. And we're going to kind of take it over a bit to do an announcement about an event related to Adventure April that the ASC is doing. So don't miss it, guys. Thanks again for all your support and encouragement and the bits and the subs and the follows and everything else. You're just amazing and I love this community and thank you all so much for all your support. When you get to Davina, don't forget to yell, prepare to be boarded because we are the Sables Privateers and I will probably see you later tonight. If not, I will definitely see you tomorrow.